Hello. Once again, I welcome you back to shipping lithium and batteries. And this time we're going to look at the requirements for shipping as section 1A. Reference is made to the IATA DJR 64th edition and the 2023 IATA lithium battery guidance document. We shall ship as section 1A pack lithium and batteries in a UN specification packaging, mark and label the package. And finally, we shall complete the shipper's declaration and airway bill. In this shipment, we have one lithium and battery, this one. As you can see, the watt hour rating is 1280. The net weight is 14 kilograms. The question is, are we going to ship as section 1A or are we meeting the requirements for shipping as section 1B? So according to the limits, our battery has exceeded the what our rating limit for section 1B and it has exceeded the net quantity limit for section 1B. So we are going to ship as section 1A. When we get back to the extract from the list of dangerous goods, we get to know that lithium ion batteries cannot be shipped on a passenger aircraft. Always read the special provisions. Identify the parking instruction, which is applicable. And they give us a reminder to read all assigned special provisions for approvals, additional requirements, and sometimes you have exceptions. The requirements are relaxed. Parking instruction 965 has so many requirements which are not reflected in the slides. So I always recommend you go to the parking instruction when preparing lithium batteries or any other dangerous goods article or substance so that you get the packing instructions as they are given to you in the packing instruction. All right, so here we're going to look at the general requirements for lithium iron or lithium polymer cells and batteries. The first requirement is that damaged or defective lithium iron batteries are forbidden those shipped for recycling or disposal are forbidden unless approved by state of origin and state of the operator. They must be protected so as to prevent short circuits. Not All cells and batteries must be tested in accordance with the UN money of tests and criteria part three, subsection part 8.3. For you to confirm that the batteries and cells have been tested, request the owner of these batteries or cells for the UN 38.3 test summary. So let's look at the classification flow chart and see how it is applicable to our shipment. Our, what our rating is 1280 and which has exceeded, of course, the limit for section 1B. And our net weight is 14 kg, which has also exceeded the limit per package for section 1B. So we cannot ship as section 1B. We shall ship as section 1A because we are within the limits. All right, so let's see. Whenever you're looking for what our rating, find it on the battery. In case it's not inscribed on the battery, you'll find it on the UN 38.3 test summary. In the previous video where we went through shipping section 1B shipment, lithium and batteries, I showed you how to calculate to what our rating, but if you're a poor mathematician or someone who hates um, arithmetics, just like me, do not get into converting. Just stick to the UN 38.3 test summary and that document will always give you 
the what our rating. Set of charge, always ask the owner of the battery to commit in writing that the state of charge is 30% or less of the rated capacity of the cells of batteries. So let's see. Our, our rating is 1280 and the net weight exceeds the limit for section 1B. So we are going to ship a section 1A. Extract from the list of dangerous goods. Here, we need to identify the parking instruction. So as to determine whether we are shipping a section 1A or a section 1B, also to determine if we need a UN specification packaging. Remember, we don't have a parking group for UN 3480, yet we need to meet a specific parking group performance standards for the UN specification package. So let's see how that is going to work. This is the parking instruction. It's not the full parking instruction. I took out an extract uh, with those areas where we are interested in. So under additional requirements for section 1A, you're going to see that statement which says, um, cells and batteries must be placed in inner packagings that completely enclose the cell of battery, then placed in an outer packaging. The completed package for the cells or batteries must meet the packing group to performance standards. So this statement alone makes us to understand that we need a UN specification package. Secondly, when you look at the table for the outer packagings, we also have a row for specification codes, which also informs us that this packing instruction requires the article or substance to be packed in a UN specification packaging. Always ensure that the net quantity is within the limit. So from this slide here, we know that we need a UN specification packaging. So you go ahead to look it up. Here we are. Now we are going to mark and label the package. Remember, you should choose, um, I'll create another video on how to choose your own specification packagings. We shall not get into it right now. So let's put the required marks and labels. We have the UN number. We have the proper shipping name, lithium and batteries. We do have the shipper address and consign address. We have the lithium battery label. We also have the cargo aircraft only. Okay, so now these lithium and batteries are fully marked and labeled. When we are shipping a section 1A, we don't need to include the lithium battery mark. The reason why we include the lithium battery mark when shipping as section 1B is because we are informing um, the other people in the transportation chain that the shipment, the batteries or cells packed in this packaging meet the requirements for section 1B and they don't require a UN specification packaging. All right, so let's see how the shipper's declaration is completed. We have the UN number, proper shipping name, class. Uh, it's one fiberboard box times the net quantity, which is one. And then we have the packing instruction. That's it. When it comes to the airway bill, we shall go to the handling information box and type dangerous goods as per associated DGB and also add cargo aircraft only. 
Thank you so much for coming along with me. See you in the next.